Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a flip through and an unboxing of this Clever Fox Planner Pro and this is the dated version from January 2024 to January of 2025. This did come kind of sealed and in bubble wrap and then in another plastic container. So I went ahead and took all that off so hopefully you're not blinded by the lights in the window. And this came with a little booklet that describes how it works. When I first opened this, I didn't plan on filming this video, but when I opened this and I started to look through it, it seemed really in depth. So I thought maybe it would be helpful if I filmed this in case you guys were thinking about purchasing this planner. So this one is from Amazon. It wasn't supposed to be here until the very end of November and it arrived early. This is the large size, so it's eight and a half by 11. So it deals with a bunch of different categories of your life, productivity, happiness, harmony, motivation, success, focus, and passion. And the color is Mystic Blue. And as listed, it is dated. It's a 13 month planner. It has weekly and monthly review, goal tracker, habit tracker, self-discovery and daily rituals, visual, vision board and mind maps, gratitude and affirmation techniques, and additional dotted pages for notes. So I have never actually used a planner that was this large before. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while now, you know that I have kind of played around with A5, B6, and A6 size, as well as um, passport, travelers, notebook inserts, and personal rings. So this is a huge deviation. I used to use a large monthly planner like this primarily just for work, but I wanted to try this out specifically because of the layout. So what we are going to do, I think, I think it would be most helpful if I did a flip through first, and then we went over the how it works section kind of as we go. So like I said, I have not opened this yet, so we're gonna do it together. All right, so here's an introduction, table of contents. So we have, I'm gonna start over here with number one. It says awareness and self-discovery, daily rituals, vision board, what do I want my life to be like? One year goals, six month goals, mind map, monthly pages, monthly review, weekly pages, dot grid pages, and what's next. So it's a very in-depth kind of layout. Okay, so the first section in here is awareness and self-discovery. So we are just gonna go ahead and open up this planner and we're gonna see if that is the first section that we come to. Okay, so here we have a little Clever Fox uh, warranty card. That's right. So I do have a flip through of the Clever Fox undated teacher planner as well as the undated pocket weekly planner on my channel also. And they always have a warranty card, which is a 60 day money back guarantee, which is really nice. Okay, so jumping right into it, I'm just going to make sure that you guys can see everything. Okay, we have our yearly overview. So we have 2024 and 2025. I really love how this overview is here and then it has all of the US holidays for both years side by side. That makes it so easy to forward plan. So I'm really excited about that. The monthlies are a Sunday start. Okay, so this first section is awareness and self-discovery and daily rituals just like the first section of this um, kind of guide of how the planner works. So I'm not going to go through and read all of this, but I will show you the pages. So on this page, um, this is kind of, they have an example of how you can fill everything in. And we are going to look at the sections. So on the left hand side, it says, what is the vision for the life I want? What are my core values? What am I passionate about? What brings me joy? What is my life's purpose? What is my mission? What or who should I avoid in order to live a happier and more fulfilling life? Under daily rituals, we have I'm grateful for, my affirmations, things I need to remind myself. 
So on the next page is an example of how you can fill out the daily rituals and then some information. I think that this is really great and the other planners that I have, the teacher planner also had like a little booklet like this and all the sections with examples because I think sometimes when we get a new planner we're not sh even sure where to start so it's so helpful and um, really thoughtful that they have included that so that's really great. Um, okay so then we have two blank pages where it says my vision board and let's turn the page and see so we do have an example of the my vision board so in their example they have included pictures and it says cut out images and words from magazines doodles or simply write down some thoughts about where you want to go in life okay the next section what do I want my life to be like? Here is our example. So we will go over the kind of categories. So on the top it says when, we have one year from now, five years, 10 years, 20 years. Wow, how old will I be? Section, uh, health and fitness, business and career, family and friends, relationships and romance. Okay, and then continuing on It looks like there's more sections. So the layout's gonna be the same. So you have finance, personal development, fun and recreation, and spiritual. Okay, so the next section, we have my one year goals. Wow, so this is really, this is really nice. I'm really impressed right now. Okay, so my one year goals. We have life area, top goal, why I want it. And then it has the, looks like the same categories that are over here. So you can really map everything out, which is really nice. Okay, next it has my three month goals. And right here it says, take a look at your yearly goals and break them down into what can be achieved within the next three months. And some examples, and we have goal one, two, three, four, and five. On the side, it says why I want it. And then this grayed out area says re reward if achieved, which is nice. Okay, then we have our mind map, and here's a little example. And this says don't let big goals intimidate you. Break them down into smaller manageable steps. A mind map is a great way to do this, which is very helpful. And this can really be used in any, any really any part of your life, which is awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna jump right in to our monthly spread. And here is the monthly spread uh, kind of section. And it gives you some detailed information. And then once again, some examples. So we'll go ahead and look at the monthly. And on the left-hand side, it says notes, the previous month, the current month, and then the future month. It is a Sunday start. On the bottom you have lined, a line section for this month's goals. Over here on the right hand side, it says things I will do to make this month great. Skills and habits to learn, places to go, people to see, distractions to avoid, and one thing I always wanted to do. So as you guys can tell, this planner is very thought provoking. It really makes you kind of evaluate all different aspects of your life and really stop and think about it and that is when we get to the weekly section and I'll show you that that's why I wanted to pick up this planner they didn't have a smaller size that I saw so um, I figured I will go ahead and get it because you guys know I love to decorate with washi tape and stickers and markers so I figured the larger the page the more stickers I can use right <laughs> the more fun I can have with my theme Okay, so here is the first weekly spread. And we're gonna go back to our guide. And whoop, did I miss a page? Because this says monthly review. Maybe this might be at the end of the month. Okay, so let's see. All right, here is our weekly page and your example. And this says, you, using the weekly layout is crucial for keeping yourself focused, organized, and on track. It provides space not only for recording what you did or what you have scheduled for each day, but also a separate page for all sorts of extras. Okay, so this layout right here is exactly why I got this planner. So let's look at this really in depth. So on the left-hand side, 
um, you have horizontal boxes. So technically this would be a horizontal layout. So it starts with January 1st, which is a Monday. And you have one, two, three, four lines. Then on the right hand side of each day, it says today's goal in the grayed out area. And then top three priorities. Then on the right hand page, it says this week's main goal and then reward if achieved uh, this week's priorities. And what I was thinking about the reward if achieved, I think that for most people, it's not going to be um, something tangible. Like it could be, it could be, um, you know, maybe this week you're running a marathon and your reward is a medal and rest, but it could also be something just like peace or joy or, um, you know, a nice, you know, walk outside family time. It could be something like that. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Then we have a work to-do list, personal to-do list, habits and skills, and then the days of the week. And then life balance to-do list. So we have health and fitness, family and friends, romance and relationships, fun and recreation, personal development, spiritual. Three boxes for I am excited about. You have some dot grid space right here to play around with. This week's wins, lessons learned, and how I'll improve next week. So this is the thing. When I saw this planner, this is really what drew me into it. Because I'm just in that season of life where everything is busy. And... I am right now using a horizontal layout in my personal rings and it's really functional and simple, but my brain cannot handle any other, any other information. And so I feel like this has everything I would want without thinking about writing it down on a blank piece of paper. Like when I was in my astrology, I was able to kind of set the pages up and the week up the way that I wanted. I don't have that time right now. And I feel like this is everything that I want in a planner that has been pulled out. So it's not another mental load that I then have to carry because everything is on these pages. Absolutely everything. Um, the only thing that is not, they have not written down, I think, is on the daily pages um like meal planning and that's something that's so simple to add in because you have this long horizontal boxes um you know the space to write i do prefer horizontal because when i like to write i like to write out sentences i don't like to um like with my hobonichi cousin the weekly is a vertical layout and it was only about like an inch, I think, or an inch and a half wide. So I can't get a whole sentence in that. And um, I like to see like the whole sentence and I like to see it done and completed. So I would have liked something maybe a little bit smaller, but I feel like if you went smaller, especially with everything that they have built into this one week, you probably wouldn't be able to fit all that information. So this is why I'm really, this is what really got me excited was this particular layout. So all of the weeks are going to look the same. Now let's find the end of the month. Okay. So this is the end of January and we are going to go back and find our monthly review page. So monthly review number one is going to be right here and it says at the end of each month you will have a comprehensive monthly review section the spread will guide you through analyzing your past month so here are the sections what were the biggest wins what were the biggest lessons learned slash insights gained and then rate each area on the life balance wheel from one to ten how satisfied are you with each life area i think that this is great however i think we all know that there's no way anyone's life is ever going to be balanced because that's just not how life is, right? You have different seasons, you have different ebbs and flows, and so that's okay. If filling this out would stress you out, then I say, you know what, don't do it. You could always put a big blank sheet of paper right here and you can doodle or add family pictures or anything like that. So now we're going to look at monthly review number two. And this says, next, think about the tasks you set for yourself that were not accomplished. Try to figure out why. So what tasks were not accomplished and why? How do I feel about my progress? I am excited and looking forward to things I do, I will do to make myself happy next month and how I'll improve next month. And once again, 
these all these sections are optional so if you think that this is not going to be good for um, your goals or yourself or maybe your mental health then definitely don't fill it out you can always do something fun with this size planner particularly because you can really just take a piece of um, like printer paper and put it right on top and then you're good to go okay so we did our monthly we did our weekly pages um, and then here's the second half this right here of your weekly page and it really breaks up and breaks down like step by step how you can fill this out um, and I think this is really good to have if you just have those weeks where you're just you can't process anymore do you know what I mean like they have all of this set up for you which is really nice all right and I think is that the end weekly oh no okay so the next is dot grid pages and it says at the back of the planner you will find page after page of simple dot grid layouts use these any way you wish so we are gonna keep going through this planner and as you can see all the months are gonna look the same weeks are gonna look the same this does come with page ribbons which we are gonna find oh okay so this is something else I really like about clever Fox all of their planners the all the ones that I've had so far have three page ribbons which some have one some have two they have three which I think are awesome and the colors always coordinate to the covers so there are our page ribbons. So we're gonna go to the end. And so this actually ends. The last week is February 2nd, or last day, February 2nd, 2025. That seems so far away, but I know that it is not. Okay, so here's our monthly review. And then here we have our dot grid pages for section number 11. And then we have what next, what's next? And um, number 12 says, that's the Clever Fox Planner in a nutshell. Um, and so that is your guide. Like I said, really nice, really detailed. I really love that there are examples. So at the end of this, we have, let's see, all this dot grid paper. Oh, that's cute. Thank you for choosing Clever Fox. That's the back part of the, um, little wraparound piece of paper I didn't expect the heart okay um and then we have oh stickers <laughs> forgot about the stickers we have a nice pocket and we have some stickers those are cute so we've got some quotes up here some boxes appointments um, and you guys can probably tell this is rose gold oh these are cute okay so these are like payday uh, stickers credit card car payment no spend challenge oh with the little fox budget these are really cute oh all appointments okay doctors meetings gym laundry crucial birthdays oh look at the little shoes these are so cute um, next we have day off groceries work important I really like the variety of these stickers oh this is cute and this is just like a fun um, these are just fun stickers. There's a pizza, um, little fox, jelly beans. Oh, look at the little planner sticker. Oh, you guys, this is so cute. All right, so that is, um, let me start ranting about, stop ranting about the stickers. Those are just adorable. Okay, so that is the Clever Fox dated planner in a nutshell. <laughs> Not really in a nutshell since I gave you a whole flip through, but I hope that you guys found this video helpful or inspiring. If you do and you enjoy planner related content, please subscribe and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.